you. Hello, everyone. So, yeah, I'm here to talk to you about something that happens to me often, maybe it happens to you too, that you're on the commute to work, or you're on vacation taking a trip, and you're on a really crappy connection, or Wi-Fi connection, or, or 2G, and you're maybe waiting for something, moving from one place to another, and you open Twitter and you see something that sounds completely clickbait or a fake article, <laughs> but you don't want to know all the fuss it's about, so you just tap on it, and this happens. You get the web page, but no text, and you wait, and you wait, and the text never appears. And as a front-end engineer, I get really mad at this, because I know that the text is there, words are there, I should be able to read them, but I can't because the site doesn't have a phone loading strategy in place. And I'm just there, super angry, staring at my phone, and thinking, you know, let's just <laughs> give me the content punk. So this is the title of the talk, and of course it's about uh, phone loading strategies. Uh, for the people who mind, uh, the title comes from a friend's episode with the word money, said content. Uh, lame, but anyways, uh, web phones, we love web phones, like everybody uses web phones. Uh, we like them because they give us this sense of uniqueness in our products and our projects, and also keep, keeps consistency across different operative systems with different phone stacks available. Uh, the thing is that users don't care that much about this. Uh, they just want the content, they just want to see the label on your button so they can tap it or not. They want to see the title of your article, they want to read it, and they can. And they can because we're doing this, we're just placing the style sheet with the font visual definitions on the head of our document, and then on our CSS, we're declaring these font families as the default ones. And this is what's causing this invisible text that I personally hate. <laughs> so what we want is this. We want an article or product that is basically showing me a system font, and as I wait for the web font to be ready, uh, when this happens, you, you saw that switch, uh, like pretty noticeable. And it's not hard to do. Like the solution is to first async load the style sheet with this uh, font face rule definitions. Second is to observe these fonts as they load. And when you already react to it by probably talking in class on the document element and switching to these uh, new font families. Uh, solution might look something similar to this. Uh, let's go super quick. I'm um, using two packages. Uh, first, store CSS, which is a package of mine, and then font face observer by Bramstein. And it's basically doing what I just told you. First, Storage CSS is uh, loading the style sheet, uh, in this case from uh, Google Fonts. And then I'm using, creating two observers, one for one from family and one for the other. And when they resolve as a promise, I just took a class. And CSS doesn't change that much either. The only difference is that now, by default, uh, the families are from the system. And then I'm using classes to override these font fam family rules. And that's it. That's all you need to do, really. You, you, won't change that much. Uh, so why we're not doing this? <laughs> uh, more optimizations in case you want to make this switch uh, even shorter in time is you can use preload and preconnect on the style sheets and the phone files. Uh, you can also use uh, Glyph Hanger by Filament Group. It creates like a subset, a smaller subset of your phone files uh, just for your project. And in case you're self-hosting, make sure that you're using the last uh, version of the phone files definition. So let's say that I convince you that you all want to We'll do this. Um, there are a bunch of really cool articles uh, around these uh, techniques. Uh, Zach Leatherman, Monica Dinculescu, and Filament Group um, have really great uh, articles there. Uh, Rob Dawson has an article on font display. He has this property that in the future might allow us to not do any JavaScript uh, and achieve this uh, strategy. And also I have two entries on my blog. Uh, one is called Font Loading Strategy for Static Sites, and the other one is uh, Font Loading Strategies uh, for Single Play applications. Um, that's it. <laughs> Thanks a lot.